Hallelujah and praises to Lord God in heaven. World War III, Iran's contribution. In the previous episode, you might have seen about the formation of Iran in World War III. Now we will be seeing about Iran's contribution in the World War III. Let's go through the word of God, the Holy Bible, which has prophesied about this 2400 years before. Persians are now concentrated in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and certain Gulf countries. They speak Farsi language which is the Persian language. Persia's name was changed to Iran in 1935 AD. Now Iran is a country highly rich in wealth and military power among the Muslim countries as prophesied by Daniel. Daniel 11.2 says, And now will I show thee the truth. Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than they all. Along with Iran, all the Muslim nations in the south will join against Israel in the war. Daniel 11.25 second part says, And the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army. So there will be a great army supporting Iran from the Muslim countries. Iran will play a dominant role in this. Daniel 11.3 says, And a mighty king shall stand up, that shall rule with great dominion, and do according to his will. Right now, Iran is having a good tie-up with Russia from commerce to defense. Ezekiel 38.2.5 says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Mesek and Tubal, and prophesy against him, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. And Iran has a strong defense, which is stationed to view Israel. Ezekiel 38.7 says, Be thou prepared. And prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a god unto them. Already the entire nation around Israel is Muslim nations, under one banner Muslim. And these nations are totally against Israel. They have already surrounded Israel. Ezekiel 38.8 says, After many days thou shalt be visited in the later years. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountain of Israel, which have been always waged, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely all of them. Russia has already signed a treaty with Iran for supplying weapons and nuclear items to Iran. Iran's leader has already vowed that they will wipe out Israel completely. Right now, around Israel, minor clashes are occurring, but suddenly a leader with bad thoughts will rise up. Ezekiel 38.10 says, Thus said the Lord God, It shall also come to pass, that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And he will trigger a war along with its allies' countries, which will become as World War III. Ezekiel 38.16 says, And thou shalt come up against my people Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the later days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. As the war goes on, God steps in with great anchor. Ezekiel 38.18 says, and it shall come to pass at that same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, said the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. God will help Israel to destroy the entire army of Iran and its allies. Ezekiel 38, 21-22 says, And I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains, said the Lord God, Every man's sword shall be against his brother, and I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands, and upon the many people that are with him, and overflowing rain, and great hailstones 
fire and brimstone. Iran and its allied forces will be totally destroyed by Israel. The whole nations will be involved directly or indirectly in the war. And so the economy of all the countries will fall rapidly. With this economic crisis, the seven year tribulation period begins with Antichrist as the leader. As in the midst of the tribulation, Lord God Yeshua Messiah will come in secret in the mid sky to take his holy people. Therefore, accept Yeshua Messiah or Jesus Christ as your God and Savior. Repent from sin. Get what baptism and spiritual baptism. Meditate on his holy words. Do and live as per his words and walk in spirit. Watch and wait for his call. Hallelujah. Amen.